case you were wondering how the Trump campaign's claims of voter fraud were were playing out at the moment, uh, let me give you an example. Uh, right now, PolitiFact is having to push out a story of a lie being pushed by members of Trump's legal team that claims that Joe Biden, the Biden campaign hired for $3 million, a, a mob boss by the name of Skinny Joey Merlino in Pennsylvania to fabricate ballots. And uh, Skinny Joey, I guess, fabricated enough ballots to allow Joe Biden to walk away with the uh, Pennsylvania votes. Now, this was originally por- uh, reported by a website called the Buffalo Chronicle that has a reputation of pushing false and salacious information, uh, both about American politicians and Canadian politicians. Uh, they've got a really bad track record. They are not reputable and they didn't list any sources whatsoever for their claim that Joe Biden is in deep with the mob to somehow <laughs> rig the Pennsylvania election. Now, skinny Joey is actually a real person. Um, and that is one of the ways PolitiFact knew that this wasn't true because they tracked down skinny Joey and skinny Joey is apparently in South Florida on supervised release where he's been for two years. Uh, so it's very unlikely that skinny Joey was given $3 million by the former vice president of the United States while being under supervision. And then somehow from South Florida managed to fabricate these ballots and get them up to Pennsylvania. So the whole story falls apart immediately under scrutiny. Uh, but here's the, the problem, this story, uh, and PolitiFact talks about some weird Yahoo by the name of Jeremy Harrell sharing this on Facebook and it got like 150,000 views. Oh no, I think he did it from his car as Trump supporters usually do. But the real problem is that on November 16th, and this is from PolitiFact on November 16th, the Buffalo Chronicle story was shared on Twitter by attorney Jordan Seculo, who along with his father, Jay Seculo, are a member of Trump's legal team. The Seculos have helped the president mount legal challenges in battleground states over the election results. Jordan Seculo shared the link and said, follow all leads. Meanwhile, Rudy Giuliani, Trump's personal lawyer, who recently falsely claimed there were hundreds of thousands of unlawful votes in Philadelphia and Pittsburgh, told Fox Business the allegation was far-fetched. So even Rudy Giuliani, who's out there pushing false information in court, looked at this one and he said, you know what, even for me, that's a little nutty, but not for the seculos who again have helped with the legal challenges that are being filed. Trump's very own legal team is pushing this crazed conspiracy theory that skinny Joey is out there making fake ballots, counterfeit ballots. For Joe Biden to the tune of $3 million, look, $3 million, I got to tell you too, by the way, considering how much money each of these candidates raise to run an election, $3 million, that's cheap. Uh, Skinny Joey, if you actually did this, man, you got ripped off because they have tons of money in those campaigns, you know, and, and winning a presidential election for 3 million bucks. Come on, man. Skinny Joey, up your prices, dude. Get back in the game. I'm kidding. Of course, uh, voter fraud is not okay. And encouraging voter fraud is not okay. I'm making light of the situation because it is so preposterous, but these are the depths that the, uh, uh, Trump campaign is sinking to. They're just making stuff up, grasping at any straws. Do we have evidence of voter fraud? No. Do we have actual evidence of dead people voting? No. Do we have evidence of dominion machines malfunctioning? No. Okay. So what else we got? What if there's a mob boss, uh, but he's in Florida, but he somehow rigged it for, for Biden in, in Pennsylvania, uh, for $3 million. What about that? I mean, they're just playing mad libs with potential scenarios at this point. You know, you fill in a villain, you fill in an amount of money, and then you pick which state you want it to apply to. You know, it's dominion over in Georgia. It's skinny Joey up in Pennsylvania. It's the bad male people, not M A L E M A I L people in uh, Nevada and Arizona, these people have nothing. And the longer this gets dragged out, the crazier they're becoming. 